All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So welcome today we're gonna to be talking. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back. So since we have to stay home today, we're just gonna be touring the van. I know most of you guys wanted to know what it looks like inside, so let's get going. Let's show you what is inside. So first thing first, we're gonna be talking about the headlights. These used to be halogen headlights, but now they're by xenon. These are actually uh, projectors from a Mercedes uh, Benz. And then we have the LED strip lights. And that's new. It has a sequential uh, turn signal as well. Just with the normal driving light. Here's with the uh, high beam on. Lane has deviated. Quite a big difference if you are in a rural area. And then we're going over here. We got the front camera. This is a 360 degrees setup. And if you guys come over here, we have this one as well. Here's another camera. This is for the side. And then same thing on this side. There's one right here. This will be on this side. So here we have the step lights, which is the running bar lights. And toward the back we have these uh, tailgate lights. And up top we got the porch lights, outside lights, and also the cameras, more cameras. Here's another feature of the van, which is this keypad here. You can use this to lock and unlock the van. So in case you want to go to the beach and swim, you can just uh, leave the keys inside and then lock it inside your van. And here's the rear view mirror, which is uh, an LCD screen and it has the forward HD cameras and it also records the front and the rear. And then it has menu for like all of your other options, uh, your navigations, DVR of course is the forward and reverse. And then music, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. And this is the main entertainment system, which is a 10.1 inch screen. It does have YouTube. It also has uh, Wi-Fi, so you can actually uh, watch anything you want. You can turn on your mobile hotspot from your phone, and it will connect to that, and it will go online, and you can watch anything from YouTube, uh, Facebook, or anything that is uh, internet connected. And then here you have your Google Maps. And you can also speak your commands. Drive to nearest Burger King. Just in case you don't have any internet access, there is a uh, offline navigation system which uh, uses regular GPS as long as you have GPS it will work and here's the video you can watch video on this screen it will read it from your USB adapter and you can watch movies videos anything you like 
it will also play it on your big monitor and you can also listen to your music if you have uh, mp3 music you can uh, play it on here and then of course it has your radio basic radio if you need your radio and then internet access chrome for like searchings or anything like that does have a compass if you need a compass and then your navigation of course your miles per hour and then of course you have the screen as well and you can go to your main all of your apps you can actually download more apps from the Google Play Store if you like and then this is the main feature of the system is this your 360 degrees camera so here's the nice thing is 360 degrees I can turn it all the way to the back and now I can chill and talk to people in the back I can have dinner with the second row seat here or I can just uh, lean back lean the seat back and take a nap just sleep and I can also enjoy the view on the side or open the side door here and have a view and then we also have this little unit this little guy here it's a Bluetooth speaker it puts out a ton of bass and we use that to uh, kick up some bass inside the van and also uh, you can karaoke with this as well we have the microphones up here and you can hook it up into your speaker and you can just start singing along have a little karaoke party you know and then up here we have a game console and also a hard drive which we have like a hundred plus games in here and here's the switch to turn everything on so this switch will actually turn on the monitor and also it will power the Wii console so whatever is on this screen right here would actually play up on this monitor and you can also have your 360 degrees camera which acts as your security camera on the screen so in case you're inside the van and you want to know what's going on you can switch that on and you can uh, view the size right side left side what's in your rear or the front so if you have your blinds or anything like that closed, you can actually uh, use this to uh, stay ahead of the games and uh, look out and see what's going on outside your van. Alright, as you can see we have the running bars which makes it easier for you to step into the van. We also have a rug right here to access as uh, water, mud and uh, everything to clean off the shoes. And then of course you have the buck screens, nice little buck screen so that you can uh, enjoy your summer without all those annoying bugs. Come on in guys. Alright so here we have the passenger kit seats. We have two of them, of course you have the booster seats as well. And then this acts as a bed at night and we'll show you guys that later. Alright, so this is the interior of the van. We have the couch right here. And then we have the table. Of course, it's a lagoon mount table, so it swivel back and forth, move in and out. So we can actually have dinners or do our homeworks or work, whatever we need to do on the tables. And we'll have a nice sitting area for six over here. And this also is our bed at night, and then we'll go over that in a little bit so here we have our fan this is actually a 12 volt fan and we have our windows right here so we need a cool breeze coming in we just open the windows it has a buck screens right here so it keeps all the bucks and stuff out uh, this is actually an additional add-on because the Ford Transit doesn't have any buck screens or anything like that so we kind of make this and put it on 
and then the fan will actually blow all the cold air, cool air, all over the cabins. Well, whichever ways you want the air to move, you can adjust the fan. And then here we have our LCD control panel for our alarm system. And then also the remote control for the lightings. And then of course here it's a connection wires for your phone if you want to connect your phone and display it on the big screen. You can do this and connect it. And of course there, you can uh, have a big screen on your, from your phone to a big screen. And then this is your Max Air fan remote control. And you can control the fan up here, which is the Max Air. It has the all the bells and whistle. Uh, it will run in the in the rain, so you don't have to worry about any rain getting inside. You can uh, run it anytime and anywhere in any conditions. You can turn it on and off. Right now, it's in the auto mode. There's a little heat sensor up here. It will actually detect how hot it is. So right now, it is uh, set up at. 78 degrees so it will turn on at 78 degrees or any temperature that you set it at and it will set and then run and then if it gets to that temperature then it will close and turn off or you can uh, run it manually and here's the main control panels um, this is where you get all of your information from your batteries this will actually turn on and it's the uh, inver inverter for the van so if you need 120 uh, volts electrical you just turn it on and then of course you have all your switches your heater right over here so it's, if it's cold you can turn it on and then it'll run and keep the van at room temperature you also have all the lightings so this is your footwell lighting and as you can see we have LED light strips all the way and it'll light up the floor And then since we're down here, and here's the safe, it's uh, digital, and you can lock in your wallet, your keys, or any uh, valuable that you want to hide away and lock away. It's a digital safe, so you can keep it safe. There's also another locked cabinet over here. And this is uh, where we keep our most valuable. We have our DJI's uh, drones in here. Also, this is like gold toilet paper right now. So we have to keep it locked up inside. So that way it's safe and we don't have to worry about it. And then this is our second light. This will actually light up the whole entire cab. And this is uh, the remote control that we control all these uh, puck lights. And you can dim. You can turn it all the way up. However much you want. It has a button for 100%, 50%, 25%. And of course there's also a mode and speed buttons. Where you can have flashing, fading, whatever you're in the mood for. And this remote is actually for the strip lights over here. These are accent lights. And you use that switch to turn it on. And now you can change color. Red, blue, pink, orange. And then you can also have it in flashing mode, fading mode, or just auto. So if you want to have a karaoke party, you can uh, have it fade and turn on and off. Of course, the floor LED strip is controlled in the same manner. You can uh, separate the controls or you can combine them and they will do the same exact thing. And then we have our uh, clothing cabinets up here. Of course, we have one, two, three, four for four people. 
and they have the lock mechanism up here you can lock it it's clothing it's not pretty organized so we're just gonna skip and move on here's another one where we keep our jackets for now and then of course another one more clothing and towels also a lint remover you will need that this one for now we're keeping all of our dishes and paper plates cups of course don't forget the coffee instant coffee you would need that and then all of the teas now, of course we do have under cabinet light so in case we need to cook in the dark we can do that and then of course more lights if we need more lights you can always go wrong never go wrong with more lights and of course right here we have our spice racks, olive oil, some oils, some pepper, pink salt, sugar, of course your garlic, and some cornstarch, baking soda, you always need baking soda to make it smell fresh and clean. And never forget this, fire stops. And then of course your Asian spices. And then here we have our medicine cabinet, which has some shavers, all of the ascendros that you would need, toothbrush and all of that, and medications. It's also never ever leave home without a Visine eye drop or some deodorants, but you know. And then here we have our pepper spray just in case if someone's outside trying to break it into our van we can spray them and then here's the kitchen bathroom vessel sink we have our faucet here and you can actually get it pretty long so that way you can go out and when you're outside and you want to wash your feet or take a shower you can do that using this wash your hands wash your shoes wash your bike You have your sink and stuff like that here, dishwasher, hand wash, and then this is uh, where you dry your dishes. And the sink is only uh, four inches deep, but it serves its purpose. You can brush your teeth, and there's also a mirror right here where you can take a look at yourself when you're brushing your teeth or do your hair, makeup. And then, of course, we have a storage rack up here to where you can store more stuff we have our uh, outdoor chairs right here foldable chairs and then some towels of course your gas cooktop and then let's move on to the back and of course we have more storage this is your storage cabinets right here for miscellaneous stuff right now we just have like stuff that we need to uh, maintain the vans and this is actually our water heater which we'll show you guys that in a minute and then you have all of your switches this is the bathroom lights water lights this will turn on the water pump and this is the, your gas uh, propane turn on and off and also here is the diesel tank for the heater and of course you, are, you got hoses and this cabinet right here is where the propane tank is. It's a uh, safe and seal. Right. So this is our uh, propane tank right in here. There's also a locking mechanism. There's the propane tank. Then here's our these all fuel, so we can uh, fill it up over here. And then over here we have our water tank. This is a nice 20 uh, gallons water tank. All right, so this is our water heater. It's also a uh, a hot shower for outdoor. Welcome back to my channel. 
And what I usually do is just kind of hook it up like that. And hook up all the hoses to it. And then fire it up and we'll have hot water within 20 minutes. I usually just kind of heat up the whole tank to a warm temperature. So that way we can have hot water for hours. So yeah, good little system to have if you only wanted to uh, heat up the water just for when you need it. So you don't have to waste your electricity running a, an electric uh, water heater. This will actually heat up the whole entire tank. And the tank is pretty well insulated so I don't have to worry about it getting cold after like a one or two hours. It actually keeps the hot water in there for four or five hours. <laughs> And here we have our showers and toilets. We have a portable toilets that we keep in here. That way if we have like emergencies and stuff like that, we can use it and go. Or during the middle of the night and you need to go. And of course, if you have kids, you will need this. And then of course we have our showers. It's right here. And shower curtains. And of course you have all of your paper, toilet paper and bags right in here. And we have all of our soaps and stuff right here, dispenser. And of course when we take showers, we actually take these out. These are just our regular light vests. And then of course there's another mirror inside there. So that way you can look, look at yourself and there's the lights. And then here we have our uh, countertop. For like mixing drinks, if you're having a party, you can mix your drinks up here. Of course, you have your glasses. And if we do go out, we'll have like wine bottles and stuff up there. Paper towels. And this is your light. And it also tells you the temperature and time. And it also dims as well. And keep our food and drinks. Here's a latch that we use to uh, close it and it will hold it tight. When we're out on the road, it will not fly open. And there you go. It's a big fridge. It also has a little freezer up here for ice creams. And then of course you have all of your drinks and stuff. Right now it's empty because we're at home. But yeah, that's our fridge. Lock it up. All right, and then we have another windows on this side. So that way it'll keep us all nice and cool in the hot summer days. There's also a buck screen that we added. And then this is our curtains for at night time, it's the blackout curtains. So when you actually close it up, no lights can come in and no one can actually see you. Same thing over here, we have blinds all over the vans that we can close up at night. And here you have the table, he's actually standing up doing homework, <laughs> right here. And then when he gets tired, he just jumps onto bed, and there you go. Now he's sleeping. <laughs> and then here's the chill mall. So you have this. And now he's chilling. There. Of course, you have to cover this up. And now he's chilling. And here we have. Sliding drawer for video games. Alright, so here's the video game system that we mentioned uh, before. That's the Wii system. And there he is, sitting down, chilling, playing games. Cheers, then. Playing Wii. Okay, and now we are in the kitchen area. So we have our ovens right over here. Let's talk about the drawers first. So we have some uh, drawers for our forks and spoons, drawers for our cut cutleries, knives and scissors. And then here we have our snack drawer. And then here we have more storage noodles. And of course we have our waters and stuff store down here as well as uh, some bags for trash. And then over here we have a uh, carbon monoxide alarm. We put it down low because the, uh, the gas tank is right over on the other side. 
and propane actually floats on the bottom so this will detect it we also have a smoke alarm up top here and it's also a carbon monoxide alarm then we have our lighter and some cooking oven mitt in there and then in this cabinet we have our oil and then all of our pots and pans and then we have this uh, over here to kind of tighten it up so it doesn't go anywhere when we drive. And then this countertop lifts off and goes over here. So that way you can prep your food and stuff on here. And then of course here you have your stove and cooktop. This actually you can uh, take it in and out. You can move it outside if you want to cook it outside. All you have to do is uh, they have handles and stuff on the side here and you can just take them, pick it up and take it outside. And also down here we have an oven. So if you want to cook some pizza you can or some bake some uh, donuts, some bread, you can do that. And then there's a temperature gate right here that way you can tell how hot it is in there. And then this is our electro electrical cabinet. So it has a fan for venting. So in uh, those hot summer days when it's really hot, you can turn it on. It'll suck out all of the hot air from inside there while the battery is charging. And then we also have this uh, light switch here, which lights up your bathroom area. So when you're brushing your teeth at night, you can see what you're doing. If you need some extra light when putting on some makeups, turn that off and here we have our lithium batteries and then all of the electronics this is your inverter charger and then we have all the disconnect switches for the solar the main uh, inverters or the chargings while you're driving from your alternator switch right there and then you can easily put it back when you're ready to drive Put the top back on. Alright, here we are, extra seating. You could actually sit over here and relax. More sitting area, better way to enjoy the view. We put this table so close to the left side. It's because when we flip these seats around, there's more seating area and they can actually just sit here, relax, uh, play on the laptop and look out to the view. So yeah, <laughs> you could actually just sit there and eat or enjoy the view as well as demonstrated by this little guy here. You're not eating at the table. <laughs> All right. So this is how you turn this into the bed mold. Let's push it back. Let's take this out. This high away in there. Of course, this goes down. And of course, we have all of our beddings down here. Just gonna take out one piece for now. And this is how you put it back. Mommy. Just as easy as you put it in. Okay. And for the second bed, you need this air inflatable for the mattress.
Die. More. Okay. You get ah. Yeah. And here's where the air mattress goes. And here he is. He's got plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room. Alright, so here is how you set up another bed platform. Another platform for another Yay. adult. Yay. Plenty of room. Pee, 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 yeah. pee. All right, so there you have it. There's the Ventor. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, comments below if you guys have any questions. Ring or... the bell! Ring the bell! There you go. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for future updates on the vans. We'll be going uh, over a lot more details on the navigation system, the 360 degree security camera system. So if you guys like it, please uh, let me know. If you need more details on anything, go ahead and comments below. And good night. <laughs>